If you have any kind of iOS device or an Apple device, chances are you've probably used iTunes at least once or twice before to add songs or videos or games or any of the other possible things that you can put on your iPods. And if you're like me, you've probably run into several of the frustrations when it comes to using iTunes. Hello everyone, my name is Andy and welcome back to CapTech. Using iTunes for me has been incredibly frustrating. In fact, just getting ready to set up this video, I plugged in my iPod there. It decided to sync with the last thing that was plugged in here and deleted about 92 songs out on here, leaving me just one song. Didn't ask it to do that. Didn't tell me, hey, by the way, we're about to erase everything. Are you sure you want to continue? Nope. It just said, all right, click here to go ahead and use your iPod, and it was pretty much done. So now I have to go back through and re-add every single one of my songs, which has always been a pain when it comes to using iTunes to begin with. What it likes you to do is to go through and put in your little check boxes and go through and select every single thing that you want to do, and then make sure it actually syncs back up. And if you try and sync up your iTunes or your iPod on one computer and then move it to another computer, it'll pop up and say, we're sorry, but this is not an option. You can only do one playlist at a time. It's a huge pain in the butt trying to do all the syncing. It just doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Half the time it ends up deleting stuff. The last time my wife plugged in her iPod iTouch, she had a bunch of songs on there. I plugged in my iTouch, ended up accidentally erasing all my games because I plugged it into here. It tried to sync with the settings it had on her system. And so I plugged it back in, ended up with a whole bunch of country songs and it deleted all my games and there wasn't a way to stop it. It just happened automatically. iTunes has been a huge pain in the butt for as long as I've used it. So today I want to show you guys a better alternative to it. This is a program called Copy Trans. Now I'll put a link to this in the video description down below. It's 100% free and it's really not that complicated to use at all. And I kind of show you here. When you download the Control Center, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get all these different kinds of options. Now I already have Copy Trans Manager installed and this is what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, so it just opens the start. But when you first get it, you're going to see all the apps down here with the button to click Install. Now there is no installation required for the copy trans control so it runs from wherever you load it. You could even put it on your iPod device and run it straight from that if you want to. Once you install it, it's a very quick download. It puts it in your local apps folder and then you click on start and it will pop up pretty quickly and you're pretty much good to go. And then all you have to do is just connect your iOS device. It'll pop up and you're pretty much good to go. It lists your iPod over here. Now I will go ahead and let you guys know I'm using a very old iPod. This is the original iPod shuffle, the generation one. No user interface, just up, down, left, right buttons and play and stop. That's the way I prefer it. I don't need to have a screen for it because all I use mine for is just music. But one of the greatest things about this software is it is very easy to drag and drop. So let's say I have a few songs in a music folder I want to put in over here. So I have both windows open up at the same time. Let's see, let's put a little Guns N' Roses on there, some Charlie Perry Del Riego because he's awesome, a couple different Chevelle songs, some Debonair, Hailstorm, I like Hailstorm. And just to show you, just highlight all the ones you want to, click and drag it over there. And you'll see, boom, they are ready to go. They're already on there. Everything is done as far as you need to go. And if you should say, oh, I decided I don't really like this song. I don't want it on there. All you have to do is just highlight it, click delete. It'll ask you if you're sure. And it's gone. And that's all there is to this software. You can click and drag, move stuff over there. You can create different kinds of playlists if you want to. So if you want to have multiple setups on your iPod, if you have the kind of iPod that can have multiple playlists, you can do it just as easy from here. You can create multiple music libraries with the commands up at the top so that you can quickly and easily organize, which you can see it kind of organizes automatically. You got metal and rock, alternative punk, the different kinds of artists, and then the actual albums within that if you click on it. So it's a really easy way to add all of the music that you want to. And when you get everything that's on here, all you have to do is just click on update. And you'll see it doing the little scroll bar at the bottom here. And it will go through and copy everything over. Now it is officially syncing, but you don't have to worry about it syncing a certain playlist or accidentally deleting an entire playlist of things because you click sync on the wrong thing. That is such a huge pain in the butt when that happens that it's incredibly frustrating. And that's one of the things that bothers me most about iTunes is if you accidentally sync and you have the wrong playlist chosen or you accidentally uncheck some stuff, it'll remove songs whether you wanted them to or not. I've always been of the mindset that I just want it to copy and drag over, click save, and it's done. See, it pops up a little message down here, says update is complete, I can eject it, and I'm good to go. Something else that's really nice that you can do from it in this is you can right click it and you can choose on edit. 
and from within the edit menu here this is where you can go through and actually update any of the information that's wrong on the description of the actual song itself so if you if it didn't copy all your data over from your CD right and you want it to be correct all you have to do is just right click it and go choose edit and you can also edit your artwork you can do search artwork you can do different kinds of artwork you have here right now I don't have any kind of display on my iPod so there's no artwork associated with it but this allows you to go through and update all kinds of information about it even the lyrics if you happen to have any lyrics that pop up on your screen and so it's a really good easy way to edit the stuff without having to go into this really in-depth mundane details and stuff of iTunes to do that so this is software I highly recommend when it used to moving stuff to your iPod. It works with, like I said, I have the original iPod Shuffle. This is the generation one iPod that I'm using here and it works flawlessly. I have an iTouch, just like a generation four. My son has the iTouch generation seven, works for his. My wife has an iPad, it works for hers. It's all of these different iDevices, plug it in, it notices it right away and we're good to go. And you can actually eject the device straight from here too if you want to so it saves a little bit of time but this was just a really good fast free alternative to iTunes that may save you a whole lot of headaches and I thought it was worth mentioning to you guys so I'm gonna end the video there if you have any questions or concerns or comments drop it in the comment section down below if you found the video useful do me a favor and hit that like button underneath the video because I truly do appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos thank you guys for your time you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later